You are listening to Power Marketing with Kevin Lee. Here's Kevin. For younger copywriters who are perhaps, uh, you know, whether or not they majored in English or they majored in uh, public relations or, you know, hopefully they've got the facility of language at, at their disposal, you know, upon graduating from from college if they went that far. But a lot of great copywriters, I think, never even, you know, made it through that gauntlet and became great copywriters, uh, mm -hmm. perhaps uh, despite, <laughs> not even despite, but because they didn't go to college and maybe they're a little I bit more connected to to sort of the everyday person, um, you know. But but for those people early in their their journey of copywriting and uh, the creative process, uh, are there any shortcuts that you would recommend uh, to to allow them to become a, a great copywriter more quickly? Yeah, I would say there's a couple of things. Right, there's one is sell something door to door, work in a telemarketing situation, right? Understand why people buy, why they don't buy, what how words move people, how people react to things, the questions that people have, dealing with objections. I mean, it's just a, no better training than that, right? So many copywriters I know, one of the best copies I, I copywriters I know sold Amway for many years. And he said that was foundational for me because I, when I sold Amway, I could see people would get bored at a certain point and I would have to say something to right. kind of get them back again, right? So you know, I would say doing that. And I would say knowing the product better than anyone else, right? Anytime you get to work for something, you, so much copy that I see in my coaching and training of people, so much of it is just, you could see as a superficial understanding of the product, right? They're writing about blood pressure, but they don't really know how blood pressure works and how the different drugs work and what the alternatives are. They're, but they're writing as if they read some cursory thing about it. And so it doesn't have the authoritative, you know, weight, gravitas feeling that, that something else would. And the other thing is just to study great copy, right? Study David Ogilvy, study Capel, study, you know, Gary Halbert. Um, know what makes them tick, how they did what they did, right? It's all right there on the page. It's only 26 letters rearranged in different ways, right? You could, it's not like it's like a painting where there are brush strokes. You go, how did he do that? How did he mix that paint and get that color and then make the brush? Like it's there, right? You can see the syntax. You can mathematically see how many words and sentences, how many paragraphs. Does he use big words, small words? Does he use more verbs than adjectives? It's all there for the study. I think, you know, another piece of advice that I would have for someone kind of relates to that, which is, Put yourself into a situation where you're getting feedback. And I'm talking about feedback from someone that's a better writer than you, who can kind of guide you, and also from, from, from the market, like a situation where what you send out gets tracked, right? Not like it's maybe you're doing blog posts and you never get any feedback about which blog post people like better, but where everything is measured, right? Because then you'll learn, right? Every time I write about crocodiles, I so many people, you know, will will read it. And when I write about, you know, monkeys, nobody reads it, right? That like you learn these things. Um, you learn about people, like one of the things that um a guy I know always talks about, right? Is how amazed he is that whenever he writes, he writes all this stuff about um investing. He says, I write all this, you know, great investing advice and geopolitical, what's going on in the world. You know, it's great stuff. Could make people a lot of money. And he says, and what, what, what do the analytics tell me works the best that people like? He says, when I write about my wife and kids and the problems we're having building this house out in the country, like that's what, that's what, and, and you learn something about writing and people and and how to be effective from that, right? You learn that people, not in a theoretical way, in a in a really gut way, you learn people want to learn about other people. They that that's what gets people excited, and that's different from you should tell stories in your copy, and your copy should be human. It's a different kind of learning to really experience that. Kevin Lee's Power Marketing is available on all your favorite podcast networks. Kevin loves helping businesses excel at marketing. Having marketing challenges? 
just like Santa in the Miracle on 34th Street. If Kevin can't help you, he'll know someone who can. Find him on LinkedIn, subscribe or follow.